everybody, this is Greg from Willie's Ski Shop. We're out here at Deer Valley today and it is going to be a beautiful day. The groomers are awesome. Today we are trying the new Rossignol Forza 70. It is a front side carver with a lot of side cut and a lot of horsepower. Very stable and a lot of fun. Let's get on it. Hey everybody, this is Greg. Uh, I wanted to go over my review of the Rossignol Forza. I've now had about 10 to 15 days on these skis. I've tried the 181 and the 173, and I've got a lot of stuff I wanted to go over. First of all, absolutely love this. Rossignol has done a great job pulling what, what I would call the carving, the G-forces that you see in the World Cup, uh, go fast skis, and pulling it down to mere mortals for us. They've packed a lot of technology into building this ski, and I just want to go over that with you. Uh, the, the ski itself really is stable. You put it up on edge, you see this oversized side cut, and you start to worry about getting it out away from you. It's not punishing. It'll let it get out and have a nice carve, very, very consistent, great feel through the tip of the ski where you line it up, pick your line and it just rolls into the turn so nicely. There's no hitch points, there's no um, folding of the shovel of the ski if you get too far forward into it. It's just really, really nice and consistent. It's also a little poppy coming out of the turn so you get a little bit of fun out of it without being punishing, without surprising you. So getting into the technology that Rosnell put into this ski to see how it was built is number one the side cut when you look at the ski you go wow that's a lot it's about a 14 meter radius ski it's uh in the 173 it's going to be 135 millimeters in the shovel of the ski 78 underfoot and then 111 in the tail okay so it is a lot of side cut uh, a lot of people that are skiing on free ride skis are go wow that's really narrow well this is a different type of ski this is a type of ski for basically all the east coasters where we have a high water content or anybody out west where you're not getting blower days all the time where you have some carpet uh something that you like to go out and ski on just nice groomed uh or groomed runs you don't have to worry about digging ditches with this ski it's nice and subtle uh, it's really worth putting on your dance card anyhow um, the one thing i wanted to tell you about the ski is the technologies that are folded into it so rosnell has with all the technologies that they've built throughout the years they've added it into this ski they've also added two new ones this one has your um, typical your LCT line control technology so you don't have too much rebound coming out of the turn. It has the carbon basalt fibers in it so it's very damp and very very stable. It has a poplar wood core and um, a rectangular sidewall so it has all the ingredients for a high-end ski. There are two new technologies that Rosnell has added to this ski and it's the v titanol layer on the top sheet and then the integrated tip, which they call the reinforced torsion tip. Okay, Those two things give us a couple of, of things that you get out of the World Cup. The World Cup is usually a traditional vertical wood laminate skis with two layers of metal, top and on the bottom of the ski. Those act as a tricep and a bicep, and the shear strength keeps the skis down on the snow. The problem is it adds a lot of weight. Okay, and most people just can't handle a ski like that. So they usually in the recreational models take some of that weight out and make a much thinner piece of metal. But you lose a little of that edge grip. So what Rosignol has done is put a three dimensional shape in that top sheet. That gives it more torsional stiffness, kind of like an I-beam. Okay, one sheet of paper, but if you fold it, it gives it three dimensions of torsion. The great thing about that is they're able to tune it throughout the forebody of the ski, giving you a super smooth um, turn the whole way through. 
The problem with it is when you have metal up through the tip, you add a lot of weight. The swing weight starts to get heavy. So what Rosnell has done is used a composite material in the top. The problem with that traditionally is you create two different cores and a hinge point. So when you get into the beginning of the turn, it's going to fold on you. Rosignol has overcome that by physically taking that V top sheet and weaving it into the middle of the shovel here. So you get some subtlety, some forgiveness in, with this big of a side cut. You reduce the weight, but you get a nice consistent flex throughout the front of the ski. So two really interesting technologies have made this ski one of my favorites. Uh, if you're out there, you see this, it is absolutely worth a try. I love it and I really recommend it.